Hello students, welcome to Swapna Physics classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you one more important short answer questions for your TS intermediate, first year intermediate IP examination. And the question is, a ball is dropped from the roof of a tall building and simultaneously another ball is thrown horizontally with some velocity from the same roof. Which ball lands first? We have to calculate the time taken by both the balls to reach the ground. If you able to calculate the time taken by both the balls, time taken by both the balls, then you can say that which ball lands first. Okay, here we have two balls. Two balls. First ball is dropped from a tall building. This is the first ball, and I am considering the height of the building as H. I am considering the height of the ball as H, and first ball is dropped from this roof of this tall building and the distance traveled by this ball 1 is equal to h and the initial velocity the initial velocity of this ball is equal to 0 initially the ball is at rest position therefore the initial velocity is equal to 0 okay and the acceleration is equal to the acceleration due to gravity which is in downward direction therefore we have a plus sign here Okay, and the time taken by the ball 1 is equal to t1, is equal to t1. And from equations of motion, this is for first ball, from equations of motion, s is equal to ut plus half a t square. This is the equation, one of the equation from Newton's equations of motion. And what is h here? What is S here? We have H. S is equal to H, which is equal to 0 into T1, 0 into T1 plus half, half into G into T1 square. This term becomes 0. Therefore, H is equal to half G T1 square, where this T1 square is equal to, you just bring this 2 and G towards left hand side. Therefore, this T1 square is equal to 2H by g okay and if you if you bring the square towards the right hand side then we we have this t1 as square root of 2h by g this is equation number one and coming to the second ball and coming to the second ball a ball is thrown horizontal a ball is thrown horizontally that means the angle of inclination with this horizontal axis horizontal axis is equal to zero angle of inclination is equal to zero and after traveling through some distance it have to it have to fall down it have to fall down that means uh, from this point it have to travel the distance of h it have to travel the distance of h as the distance at this point is equal to this distance we have the displacement as h and the acceleration is equal to plus g which is equal to acceleration due to gravity and the time taken is equal to t2 the time taken by the ball to reach the ground is equal to t2 and what we left with the velocity coming to the velocity here the, there is a velocity in horizontal direction there is a velocity in horizontal direction that is the velocity is ux but what about the velocity in vertical direction initial velocity the initial velocity initial velocity uy uy is nothing but in vertical direction what is the initial velocity in vertical direction here uy is equal to u sin theta if you resolve the velocity vector, you have the velocity in vertical direction as u sin theta. Okay, therefore, this ui is equal to u into sin 0. Sin 0, the angle of inclination is equal to 0. We have, what is sin 0? Sin 0 is 0. Therefore, uy, uy is equal to 0. From this data, from this data you have to substitute this data in equation of motion one of the equations of motion 
which is s equals to u t plus half a t square. What is s we have? h which is equal to this is u y. The velocity in vertical direction. The velocity in vertical direction is equal to 0. Therefore, this term becomes 0. And we left with half a is nothing but g and the time taken is t2. Time taken is t2 square. Okay. And from here t2 square is equal to 2h by g. And squaring on both sides of this equation you will have t2 equals to square root of 2h by g. This is equation number 2. Okay. In this uh, equation what is s? S is the displacement of the object. U is the initial velocity. T is the time taken by the body to reach the ground. And A is the acceleration. Okay. So, if you observe carefully both these equations, both these equations, T1 is equal to T2. T1 is equal to square root of 2h by g. T2 is also equal to square root of 2h by g. Okay. Therefore, the time taken by the body to reach the ground, the time taken by the first ball to reach the ground is equal to the time taken by the object 2. The time taken by the ball 2 to reach the ground. Both these are equal. The time taken by the both the balls to reach the ground are equal. Right? That means both the balls reach in same time. Both the balls reach the ground in same time. Okay? And whoever didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and share with maximum number of people and also click on the like button. Okay? Bye.